Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh, problem 3.22. This problem states that a torque of magnitude 1000 Newton is applied at point D. So this is a point D and 1000 Newton meter torque is applied. Knowing that allowable sharing stress is 60 megapascal in each shaft, determine the required diameter of shaft A, B and C, D. So we have given data. We have torque in shaft CD is equal to 1000 Newton into meter also we have allowable sharing stress the allowable is equal to 60 mega Pascal in each shaft that is given in the question in each shaft clear we have radius of gear C is equal to 40 millimeter and radius of gear B is equal to 100 millimeter. So what we have to find is the first part is that you have to find the diameter of shaft AB. You have to find the diameter of the shaft AB and the B part is diameter of shaft CD which is this shaft. Clear? So let's start with the solution. As I have told you in previous problem 3.21 that these two gears are meshing gears. So at point of contact, the, the force will be same. So FC will be equal to FB. Now FC is equal to torque of CD over RC and this FB is equal to torque in R. AB or RB. Clear? So you can calculate the torque in shaft AB. So torque in shaft AB is equal to TCD multiply by RB over RC. So TCD is actually 1000 and RBC is RB is equal to 40 and RAB is equal to 100. Clear? So, sorry, I did a mistake that it is given that let me correct it. RB is actually 100. So, RB is 100 divided by RC is 4. So 10,000 divided by 4 is equal to 2500 Newton into meter. Now we will find the diameter of shaft AB. So for part A for shaft for shaft AB. As we know that uh, maximum sharing stress is equal to 2t over pi c cube and you must know that how this 2t over pi c cube comes out from the ta is equal to tc over j there so for shaft a b the allowable sharing stress is 60 mega pascal that is given over here so we can find c cube so c cube will be equal to 2t over pi into ta because c will go to this side to the left side and ta will come down so this c cube will be this one clear so you have value now 2 into uh, torque in shaft a b this will be torque in shaft a b which is 2500 so 2500 divided by pi into allowable shear stress is 60 mega pascal so 16 to 10 is to power 6 so this give you 26.52 into 10 raised to power minus 6 cubic meter. So when you take the cubic under root of this value, 
which is 26.52 into 10 to the power minus 6 so c will comes out to be 29.82 millimeter this is the radius of shaft ab so i can also write radius of shaft ab also we know that diameter of shaft ab is equal to 2 times radius of shaft ab so you can put the value so diameter of shaft ab will be equal to 2 multiply by 29.82 millimeter and that will be equal to 59.6 millimeter so this is diameter of shaft ab and this is the answer of our first part of the question now for shaft cd again we have sharing stress is equal to now this you we can also use the subscript for shaft cd this top cd will be equal to 2t of c d over pi c c d u clear so this c cube c d cube will be equal to 2 t c d over pi ta of c d now 2 multiply by torque in c d is given in above that is 1000 and divided by pi maximum sharing stress in shaft c d is also 60 mega pascal so 10 in 16 to 10 raised to power 6 there so this q will comes out to be 10.61 10.61 into 10 raised to power minus 6 cubic meter so c q sorry c of radius of shaft c d comes out to be under the root cubic i have also forget to put cube or this it's not a square simple square it's cubic square root 10.61 into 10 to the power minus 6 so radius of this shaft c d comes out to be 21.9 7 millimeter so implies that we know that diameter of shaft cd is equal to 2 times of radius of shaft which is 21.97 and that is equal to 43.9 millimeter so this is the answer of second part of the question so we have found out the diameter required diameter of shaft AB and shaft CD for maximum allowable sharing stress of 60 megapascal. I hope you have learned from this video. Thank you for watching.